Arlene and Campbell Kellum, and uh, we're just so happy to be out here with everybody, and I miss everyone, and cannot wait to be together again with everyone. We just love you all so much. God bless you, and just pray that we get to see each other again soon. What would you do if you found out that your boss was trying to replace you? Well, that actually happened to one individual. This lady saw a Help Wanted ad, and it was connected with her boss's information, and it was for essentially her job. And she thought that her boss was trying to replace her. So what did she do? Well, she went in one night and wiped off the computer about seven years worth of company files. Come to find out, he wasn't looking to replace her. He was looking to hire for that position for his wife's company. She didn't communicate. She didn't ask. She jumped to a conclusion, and that created problems for her. And it reminds me of an account over in Joshua chapter 22, where the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh went back over to the east. They built this altar, and Israel saw it. They heard about it. Now let's see in verse 12 how they respond. In verse 12 it says, When the people of Israel heard of it, the whole assembly of the people of Israel gathered at Shiloh to make war against them. This is not looking like a good situation. Israel sees this altar that the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have built. They think that this altar is because... These tribes are turning away from the Lord, and so they're about to go to war. Well, let's see the response of the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh. Look at uh, verse 21. Then the people of Reuben, people of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh said in answer to the heads of the families of Israel, The Mighty One, God the Lord, the Mighty One, God the Lord, He knows, and let Israel itself know, if it was in rebellion or in breach of faith against the Lord, do not spare us today. So what they're saying is, if we've done wrong, take our lives. But watch what this altar was actually for. It says, verse 24, No, but we did it from fear that in time to come, your children might say to our children, What have you to do with the Lord, the God of Israel? And so what they did was they had built this altar as a witness between the tribes. So what if Israel and these other tribes hadn't talked? It would have been a bloodbath, wouldn't it have? If there hadn't been communication, it would have been a bloodbath. So that brings us to the point of our encouragement for today. Over in James chapter 1, James encourages us with these words. And verse 19 is where we'll start. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Quick to hear, slow to speak. How many of our problems could be solved by that simple solution? How many times have we jumped to conclusions? How many times have we thought that we've had all the information and really we didn't know half of it? I know I've done that. <laughs> I do it more than I want to, more than I should. So how about this for today? Let's say today we're going to start listening more, being quick to hear, and slow to speak, and slow to anger. And by our communication, maybe that'll take care of a lot of the problems that we have. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and may God bless you.